In this video, I'm going to show you how to create amazing abstract images with some everyday household objects. Wrapping paper with a repeating pattern like this polka dot style works absolutely brilliantly. All you have to do is position a table next to a wall and hang the wrapping paper from the wall with some tape so that it creates a nice infinity curve. For the best reflections, you'll want to buy a brand new spoon so you don't end up with loads of dings and scratches on the surface. Then buff away any greasy fingerprints with a microfiber cloth and work it up to a mirror shine. Holding the stem of the spoon, position it on the paper and make sure it's perpendicular to your wall so that it's dead on straight to the camera. The closer the spoon is to the camera, the easier it will be to blur the background. With your camera on a tripod, use the 55mm end of a kit lens or a macro lens if you have one and make sure that the camera is level with the spoon. Then manually focus on the front of it until it's visibly sharp. Go into your aperture priority or AV mode and set the ISO to 100. Then choose a medium aperture of around f16 to get a bit more definition in the background. Lastly, turn on the two second self timer mode. Shooting next to a window will cause directional lighting, which can create a harsh shadow. To diffuse this and create more even lighting, you can reflect some of the light back in with a reflector or even just a bit of white paper like I've used here. Be sure to experiment with different aperture values as these will change how sharp the background wrapping paper pattern is in your shot and then you can just choose the one that you prefer. We preferred this shot which had a bit of definition in the background and then converted it to mono in Photoshop to add even more impact. Okay, so here's one of the pictures from the spoon reflection photo shoot that I really like and I've just opened the raw file into Elements because I want to show you how you can work it up really quickly. So the first thing that I want to do is actually drain this picture of any colour because I'm going to go for a kind of a high contrast mono look here. So I'll just drag the saturation all the way down to minus 100 and then I'm going to push up the contrast to about plus 45 somewhere around there and then also the clarity up to about plus 90 just to make it really really punchy and then obviously we can see it's quite dark so let's tweak the exposure to get that looking right there we go that's a bit brighter and then we'll just expand the dynamic range by dragging the highlights to the left pushing the shadows and the whites up to the right and pulling the blacks down to the left and obviously that's a touch too bright so we'll decrease the exposure and that looks pretty good, so that's all I'm going to do for the raw conversion. So then I just need to hit open image to bring it into Photoshop. Here I'm using Elements, but you could use Photoshop CC. So the next thing that you might notice is that there's quite a few sort of scratches and dents and scuffs on the spoon. And there's also some dust spots around the frame from where my sensor clearly needs cleaning. So I'm going to tackle both of those issues by grabbing the spot healing brush tool from the toolbox. That's this one here. And then we'll just resize the cursor with the square bracket keys on the keyboard. And when it's a suitable size, we can just click over all of those dust spots to remove them. That's pretty much all of the dust spots. And then I'll hit Control or Command and plus a few times to zoom in on the spoon so we can tackle some of those dents and scuffs. That's Control and plus on a PC, Command and plus on a Mac. And then just again, using the same tool, we can just brush over any scuffs. And Photoshop usually does a pretty good job of replacing those with a similar texture from around the picture. And that's just going to make the spoon look really clean and the viewer's not going to be too distracted by all of these dents and scratches. So you can spend a lot more time on this than me, but I think that looks pretty good as a rough version. So I'll just zoom out by hitting Control or Command and minus a few times again. And I think that looks pretty good. So there you have it. With an old spoon from your kitchen drawer and a roll of wrapping paper, you can get creative abstracts like these. So try it out for yourself now.